Welcome. So here we go. Uh, for this problem, I just want to show you how to solve for your variable b. So the main important thing, remember, that we need to do is when looking at this, we need to isolate this variable. We need to get the b by itself. So a couple things you can do is, you know, one thing we, we talked about our inverse operations, undoing the operations. And we talked about undoing addition and subtraction first. Well, here what we notice is I have a positive 5. So that means a 5 is being added to my 3b. And I have a negative 13, meaning my 13 is being subtracted from my b. So there's a couple ways you could do this. And if you're first learning out, maybe just doing it one by one is not a bad idea. You might say, well, I need to undo addition and subtraction. It doesn't matter which order I do it. And so I'll just do each one separately. So you could undo subtraction of 13 by adding a 13 to both sides. And then you could add, undo it adding 5 by subtracting a 5 on both sides. And that's perfectly fine. You can just work through it step by step. However, for the more advanced uh, way to solve this problem, or for students that want to kind of weigh a little quicker way, we notice that these are like terms. These are both numbers. So we can actually combine these. Now, I can combine them by rewriting it, if I would like. Since that's a positive 5, I'm going to write plus 5 minus 13. So I could rewrite it using the commutative property, right? Commutative property of addition says I can rewrite it. Um, it doesn't matter what order you add. So I can actually rewrite this, the 3b and the 5, I can rewrite them. So now I, it's easy for me to see, oh, 5 minus 13, well, that is uh, subtract 7, right? So you could say 13 equals 3b, I'm sorry, not subtract 7, that's uh, minus 8. So then now it's at a two-step equation. Well, two-step equations we've been working on over and over and over again. From here, we just need to undo addition and subtraction, undo, subtract an 8. So I'm going to add an 8, because that's the inverse operation by using addition property of equality. I now I'm going to have 21 equals 3b as negative 8 plus 8 goes to 0. 0 plus 3b is 3b. Then I'll undo multiplication of 3 by dividing by 3 on both sides. And I get 7 equals b. I'll rewrite this as b equals 7. Um, then we could always check our solution to make sure that when b equals 7, this equation is true or the statement is going to be true. So there you go. That's how you solve the problem. Thanks for watching. Bye.